everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Color Wednesday video. Today I'm going to be creating another background like this. I made one like this in the past and I found this little piece of cardstock here and I was really fascinated and wanted to recreate it. So I'm going to do that today. I'm using the Medium Dots stencil from Simon Says Stamp. A few of you had asked about how I store my stencils and I store them in these little plastic bags with black inserts inside. So I'll link to the bags in the supply section in case you're wondering about those bags or if you want to start storing your stencils in the same way. So I'm taping down some craft cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I've taped that to my craft sheet and then taped the stencil on top. I'm going to be sponging on three different colors of Distress Ink and have them sort of go in a nice gradient pattern from yellow to kind of an orangey yellow to a red. So the colors are Squeezed Lemonade, Wild Honey, and Barn Door. So I just sponge those on with a round mini blending tool. And then I'm taking the stencil and I'm removing it for just a minute and I'm going to put it right back over the top but have it offset just slightly, a little bit up and a little bit to the left and then I'll tape that down again. And then I'm going to be taking a white gel pen and tracing around those circles. This is going to create a really fun look. And like I said before, I have done this previous on another card. So um, I'll have that card video linked at the end of this video in case you want to check that out. So I'm taking my white gel pen and drawing on those circles. And it takes a little while to get this all done, but it's completely worth it because when you remove the stencil, it looks awesome. So I'm just going to put my pen away and lift that off. And it creates this really cool, very graphic look. So now I'm going to work on some coloring for the card. I'm using this Lovely Thoughts stamp set from Paper Smooches. And the stamp set actually has pieces to it so you can stamp the interior of the flowers. But instead of stamping those interior pieces, I'm going to be coloring them with my Copic markers. I'm using Memento Rich Cocoa ink to stamp each flower a few times. I'm going to be cutting out the different areas of the flower and layering them on top of each other. So I'm going to speed up the coloring process and turn on some music and I'll meet up with you after the coloring's done. So after all the coloring was done and I'd added some Wink of Stella shimmer on top of the flowers, I trimmed all the flowers and leaves out and then started to assemble them by putting some foam adhesive behind the pieces and then layering them on top of each other. And this just gives a really cool layered effect. I did want to mention that if I was to do this card again, I think I would use lighter red colors on that smaller flower. I think the interior got a little bit lost in such a dark red, but all in all, I still like the look, so I went ahead with it. 
So the greeting is going to be on some cardstock vellum. I've prepped that by putting some powder on the surface. That powder just cuts back on any static cling that would make the embossing powder stick to areas where I haven't stamped. So I inked up my greeting with some Versamark ink and then stamped that onto the vellum cardstock. I sprinkled on some Hero Art white embossing powder. This is my favorite white embossing powder for greetings or anything else I need white for. I heat set that with a heat tool until everything was completely melted and then I trimmed it down and then cut off one end so that it had a ribbon edge, a little V-shaped v cut. So I always cut one into the center and then come in from the corners and that gives me a really even looking ribbon end. So I just cut that down and then I put a little bit of foam adhesive on it. I'm going to slide that in between the bottom layer and the next layer up on the larger orange flower. And then I'm putting some adhesive on the back of the flower and I'm putting together that cluster of flowers and leaves. And I just did a combination of sometimes putting it straight onto the card front and other times ha you know, having the leaves come in on foam. I did want to mention that I did trim down that background piece so that it is five and one quarter tall by four inches wide. This is going to give me a little bit of a uh, matted frame around the edge once I put it on my card front. I took some May Arts Natural Twine and I'm just sliding that underneath that flower and then wrapping it around and tying it in a bow near the top of the card. And then I took my corner chomper and I chomped off that top right corner of the background piece. I just thought it would just be a fun little extra up there in the top corner since not much is happening up there. The card base is made out of 110 pound Nina Solo White cardstock. I scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then I put the entire card design on foam adhesive and then onto the card base. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. This is a really, really simple way to use your Copic markers and I hope you guys will try it out. There are a lot of flower stamps out there you can, that you can do something similar with. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time. that all of the supplies that I used in today's video are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog. So if you are interested in any of the products that I'm using or if you're wondering where you can buy those products, please check out the supply list. On screen right now are three other cards where I use stencils and some distress ink or other ink to get some color onto my cards. So I hope you guys will find some inspiration in those if you have some stencils sitting around. You can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com and you can visit me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.